Okay, this is 4a using the zero method. Okay, in these problems, to use the zero method, you first have to make sure they're in standard form, or at least everything is on one side of the equal sign. So here's my problem. I'm going to write it down here because I'm going to show you my algebraic steps to get everything on one side of the equal sign. I've already got two terms over here, so instead of moving these two, I'm just going to move my negative two. And in order to make it zero on this side, I'm going to add two to both sides. Now we're lucky because there's a like term over here I can line it under. So this ends up with zero, and this gives me negative x squared plus nine. Now I have it in standard form. Now I can go to my calculator and y equals, I'm going to enter negative x squared plus 9. Now if you don't do that initial step, you don't get the correct answer. So with this method, you have to have it in standard form first. All right, so let's look at our graph. Here's my graph. With zero method, I'm looking at the zeros, which are the same thing as the x-intercepts and the same thing as the solutions. So before I even do the, all those long steps with the second trace, I'm going to go to the table. So press second and graph. That takes me to the table. And remember in the table, I'm looking for where my y value is zero and it's the x value that goes with it. And your window might not look like mine. You might have to scroll a little bit. So I know there's two. Well, here's one of them. I'm looking for where y1 equals zero and it's the x value that goes with it. So one of my solutions, and I'm just going to write it over here, x equals, one of them is negative 3. And I got to scroll, find that other one. Oh, there's my other one. y equals 0, and the x value with it is 3. So my solutions are negative 3 and 3. And again, I got those from the table. You don't have to go through all those other steps if you can find your answers in the table first. And that's all you've got to do.